Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing Eager, Eater of All, the 6 mana 5-5, five, five, the 5 mana 6-6, six, six, with Ward Sacrifice of Food that makes all other creatures in play food in addition to the other types. And whenever food is created from the battlefield to the graveyard, it gets bigger. We're running 37 lands with 2 spell lands, Infaldable Profane and the Symbiosis. We also have uh, mana creatures at 1 and 2. And then we're running a lot, a lot of artifact removal because we're making opponent's creature uh, artifacts so we kind of want to make use of that like best infestation force of Virga, reclamation sage and mango horn you have uh Tidal industry uh silverback elder and the most powerful of them all fade from history which literally gives your opponent the bear and then kills everything anyway and just leaves igra after destroying let's say three four five six food which you put that many counters times two so if you killed five creatures put ten counters on Igra and then you can kind of one shot your opponent so yeah let's uh, get uh, started with Igra the eater of all anyways um i do want to say if you guys enjoy the videos do leave a like to subscribe and if you don't enjoy it uh do let me know do let me know why you don't enjoy or what is you didn't enjoy in the video so i can look to improve in the future because i did see there was a couple of dislikes in the past couple three videos uh, and that's okay. If you don't enjoy it, you're not forced to like it. But I, I would, I would like to know what you didn't enjoy, so I can uh, strive to do better. If that's the case, uh, alas, this deck I've been, I've been playtesting it for quite a while now because I got it done like on Thursday the list, and then I've just been playing today Sunday because uh, I've just been enjoying the deck. I kind of just wanted to play with it, as opposed to most decks I kind of make a deck and then I stop. Uh, I record the video and then I kind of you know drop it. Uh, this one, in, I did make the deck. Pff, this hand is awkward, I know. We can kill an early elf. I'll keep, but I'm not happy about it. Um, but this deck, I made it, and I've just been playing it for fun on my free time because I've been enjoying the gameplay. Hopefully, I get to replicate that gameplay in the video here, but we'll be left to be seen. Uh, that's frustrating, but okay. I guess we have a Force of Vegas, so it's not the end of the world. That's a good turn one play. I'll take a third land. If they play another artifact or enchantment, I will destroy that. Cool, that's fantastic. Well, we'll exile. This, I mean, we'll exile the. We'll do the Rex Age. Force of Vigor, 2 for 1. Well, 2 for 2, I guess. It's not the end of the world for them either. We'll fetch a um, the Seville land. We'll also get the any land with the end. If they play this, I get to kill it on my turn, so that's pretty good. Uh, I get to kill that on my turn as well, so that's pretty good. We'll get the oh, that's actually let me get full control real quick here. Put this into play. Trigger on the stack just because I forgot to do it beforehand. Let's do this first. We'll get the... Yeah, we'll get a forest, honestly. I don't think we need to take damage. It's a ginger. Not really what I'm looking for. Oh, that's actually a fantastic grow because I'm not get to do both of these. Abrupt decay on that. Then next turn I get to go Igra. And then hopefully we can start destroying artifacts and enchantments, which are going to be their creatures. Is that it? No elf and no mana, that's good for us. We'll go eager and pass the turn. They obviously will be able to make a little bit of mana, but next time we do get to kill it. We get to go both knight and arch twist charm right now. One more elves, okay, so 2-2. Two, two. Pet collector, that's a 3-3. Three, three. That's really freaking good, man. That's really freaking good. I mean, yeah, we have to kill this guy now instead, unfortunately. Play this guy. Question is, oh, we put counters, right? There's no reason to exile it. And there is, but oh, whatever, we'll do it this way. Yeah, we can't let them have this guy in play. Sure, the Pepper gets bigger, but so does my Igra, which is gonna put a lot of pressure onto them. Now we need to draw something meaningful because we're kind of empty handed. But so is our opponent. Nope, they're not. They have a Guardian Project and another creature. Which is a Reclamation Sage. That's a final really good last two cards, huh? Really good for the last two cards. Alas, nothing. Please, no one drop at least. God. 
Those are really good draws, man. Can we stop? There we go. Thank you. Moss Vandal will kill the Guardian Project. I, do I have a creature in my graveyard? Maybe I don't. I thought I would. I do. Okay, good. Get rid of that. We're back for nine. Well, they have a lot of mana, but hopefully they have nothing in their hand. I do not have enough to kill them, but I will do this now. Put them to five. I will play this Birds of Paradise. We are kind of like at mercy of our draws right now, because we are empty-handed. Opponent has a lot of mana to work with. I'm kind of just hoping they whiff for a couple of turns, but yeah, these have not been whiffs from opponent. These have really not been whiffs from opponent. We have a lot of good draws though, so I'm not super concerned. But yeah, they're gonna have a lot of mana, so hopefully, hopefully they don't draw anything insane. Okay, they're empty-handed now. This is fantastic. They they have tons of mana, but they have nothing to do with the mana right now. Yeah, nothing to do with them. Obviously, they can sack the things for food, but that's okay. That one is plenty acceptable. I will put three counters on this. And then they are in the awkward position that if they block, they will lose four life. I think we do attack with the mass bando here. Uh, put three counters. We are going to swing with both of these. Because if they kill my max vendor, they lose 4 life and go to 1. Yeah, they're going to lose 4 life and go to 1. And then if I untap, they die. Again, considering that they whiff and they don't draw like a Crater Hoof Behemoth, which will be very disgusting. And they can also sack their creatures for f life, but that's okay. I don't mind that too much. They go to 1 right now. They're in a very uncomfortable spot is basically what we're getting at. With there we go, fantastic. There we go. Whew, that was that was got, that got very nervy very quickly, huh? <laughs> got very nervy very quickly, but we managed to uh, scrape it out. It's a good matchup. Like a creature deck should be a good matchup. Obviously, they did have good draws there, but we did also have. I mean, we had force of vigor get a two for one on turn two, so like can't complain that much, honestly. But good win, good win, good stuff for Igra Eater of all. I'm 75% sure it's called Igra. Maybe there's a different pronunciation. I'm being a bit silly here, but I don't think so. Alas, we play... Ooh, mirror match. I actually haven't had a mirror match. Wait, that means if both Igras are in play, they both become food as well. I kind of want to find ramp, and I'm, I'm willing to mull. There we go. This spy master will come into play tap, so I'll play that first. Cover up can be really good if they flood the board. Vivian, if I have Igra in play, can also be picking things off with the minus three. So yeah, this is really good. Well, not really. This is a good hand. This is this is a yeah. This is a good hand. And there's even an uncommon. I've noticed that the uh, past few of my decks have been mostly freaking rares, but I think that's kind of uh, the design of Magic has led up to has led up to in the past few years. Where all the very, very, very like just super powerful cards that rare and mythic, where your deck is literally just rares and mythics. Uh, not many uncommons and commons, especially commons. I don't think if you're playing Brawl, you're unlikely to have many commons. I guess we have Elvish Mystic and what else as commons. We also run like a Traxxas Fall and Broken Bond, but that's because we have a gimmick in the deck. If your deck is like good stuff, you're not going to have these cards. But yeah, King Signet, technically a common, I guess. And I think that's it. I don't see any other commons in the deck. Reclamation Sage is an uncommon still. Could be probably be brought down to common at this rate. Mask of Mass Vendor, also another common, but again, in the gimmick. Uh, Smog712 is taking the time to keep with that hand, but that's fair enough. Some hands are more debatable than others. Okay, they're taking, they are going to time. I don't understand, like, why are we going to time? You chose to play this game. Sorry, I'm gonna have a little bit of water. So yeah, a bit of a weird decision, but whatever. Yeah, uh, the other thing as well, if there's any deck you guys like to see, I am uh, a bit 
I, I think alchemy is coming out soon but right now with the bloomborough commanders i'm really struggling to build decks i just not no inspiration coming to me or i think the deck is just like not gonna be as entertaining if it's just like a boring mono black good stuff deck i'm kind of like why am i gonna do that that seems a bit tedious i rather because i prefer doing gimmicky decks like this eager deck i do have a standard brawl list ready I just dropped something uh, ready to be recorded but uh i'm missing one rare and i'm hoping i get to drop the rare because it's a good like it's a playable draft card that i just don't think i've seen okay opponent's probably gonna concede the duty time it's a playable draft card that i haven't seen and if i ever saw it i would definitely pick it so i'm like okay let me let me give myself like a couple more drafts because if i do get it i will play it but yeah i need to see what is going to be in the new alchemy um set if there's any interesting commanders to build around, I'll be shocked. Because last time around, the OTJ ones, they were very boring. Cool, that was a good game. 2-0 two, two for Igra. 2-0 for our girl. Our elemental cat. Actually, don't know. Don't know if the, the gender of Igra... I would assume... Hmm, shouldn't be assuming. But uh, I would assume it's a female cat. Yeah, uh, but alas, uh, let's see if we can get a proper game here. I'll, I'll be very interested to see the mirror because uh, making my eager food as well is quite interesting. I think that could lead up to some. Uh... Oh, this could be a good matchup. It's the what is it called? The shrine deck. Don't talk any chance. And yeah, it's the shrine deck. So like, why do I always have six drops in my hand? I like I. I have three six drops in my hand. I'm gonna con concede. I'm gonna mull. This is really good. This is really good. That's a two drop at least. It's a bit slow of a hand, but I don't think I can mull this. Especially because we have Force of Vigor. It's gonna be really good in this matchup. But yeah, this is very slow of a hand. Like, I don't even have um, fetch lands to feed the Jet Collector. I'm pretty sure I'm running out of the fetches. I'm actually not 100% now. All the color. Yeah, on color fetches I am. Note on one, that's good. Note on one, that's another four drop for me. Not what I wanted to see. I'm hoping for a three, or a one, or a two. So I can do something, like, not just deploy a two, two for two. That's not going to do much. That's fine. I'm going to let that one stick for a moment. We're going to try to get a two for one later. This the urge necropsy can also be, necrop necropsy can also be really good. I'm going to let that stick. Oh man, these draws have not been kind. I drew another 4 and then a 7. I'm not gonna hit my 4th land by the looks of it. Like, these are good cards. Like, don't get me wrong. These cards I wanna see in a game. Not when I'm not in the situation, in the very least. Alas, here we are. I would love a land. Or... I don't know. I think I just kinda want lands now. Just... Give me like three lands in a row. You can kill Jedi Collector, it's not, it's a bear. It's gonna be a bear for a long, long time. They play this, I will force a Vigor yeeting the Necropolis. Probably the Necropolis, yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of you and you. Kinda want this Fit Revenge. Get a little two for one here. Set them down back mana, get rid of the commander. They get a little dude. This is not a bad draw, if I can hit a land next turn, but it also helps me hit a land, I guess, because I can sack the food, but god, I really don't want to have to do that. Just give me a normal, just give me a land, give me an untapped land, and I got to go Knight of Switch Revenge. And then, yeah, I guess, or even Binding of the Old Gods as well wouldn't be bad. One, two, three, I only have four mana for this guy, because I only have one artifact. Yeah, we need to hit our land drops. We kept a three lander. I'm only to one custable spell thus far. Really surprises me the amount of basics some people run in the multicolor decks. <sighs> Pathways in a multicolor deck. Oh, we actually whiffed on the land, man. That's so gross. That's low key frustrating. At least it was a pride drive do drew it. I guess I would much love. I would have. Prefer to draw that last turn, but at least we get to play a little bit here. We're not out in the water because missing a land there, having to sack a food, to try to find a land is such a not a winning play. Ok, 
okay, at least they, they are also stumbling, and I'm just not gonna draw land by the looks of it. Yeah, we'll play this Knight of Sweets Revenge. We are yet to draw land. We kept a three lander, we've drawn five cards, and we have not drawn a land, unfortunate. At least we're still playing the game, but we're very vulnerable to, like, anything. A fart in the mist will freaking kill us at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one man away from casting the Herald, at least. I am scared of committing more stuff because of Wraths at this point, since we are... Okay, they're not doing anything. I don't like that. Is that a counter spell? Probably. I am not annoyed. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I am having tons of fun not hitting my land ever. Yeah, we'll play the Vrasker, I guess. So maybe that will hit a land because I can sack a food to draw a card and um, pay the mana to trail as well. But we really need to hit a land here. Um, am I getting counted? Is this the... I will pay two mana. Oh, it's three mana. Yeah, that sucks. Why are they playing Reject though? That seems like a terrible card. And you exhaust as well, so I can't even get close to Jack Collector. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's okay, we'll figure it out. We could... No, we can't even pass Infestation that as well. That's gross. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Opponent is not doing anything of value. We do have a pass Infestation for two. Yeah, that's fine. Play another one. Perfect. Play another one. Okay, I will kill both of those. Just trigger her upkeep. Yeah, main phase one. I will not block. <laughs> ah, please leave me alone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this to destroy, just so I can start getting lands, man. This is gonna find a land, I'm gonna get rid of the black one. God, this is so gross. This is uh, seven draw steps without a land after keeping a three lander. It does happen, I don't think I'm gonna short another land, like I have uh, 36 lands left in my deck. So, uh, yeah, on seven draw steps, I should have been able to see at least one. Alas, l luckily we got things to keep playing. And the opponent is not putting enough pressure. This is a shrine, right? It is. But I don't care about the sanctum, to be fair. This sanctum, this one I did care. If I draw land, I can do this for three as well. If they go, go Shin take, I can kill all three if I draw land. Oh, they get to keep a 1-1. One, one. No blocks. Please, for the love of everything that's holy. Thank you. That took so many turns, man. I'm not going to get the Mortuary Maya because I'm likely to fetch. Yeah, I'm 100% going to fetch because I definitely want to kill this. I could miss it to kill it, but I'd rather do this. Um, we'll do X equals 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Bay. Oh, we are one card away in the graveyard to get the Jet Collector, which we'll get it next turn. This has been like a horrible game, but I think we, we're going to be able to uh, get there. Mostly because the opponent's deck is a bit questionable. Reject. Is uh, questionable. Uh, mana base, a little bit, but not the end of the world. I'll attack for two. Put them down to 13. Hmm, that one actually is fine because itself doesn't have shroud, so I can very easily get rid of it. Uh, please don't drop your death touch. I'm thinking if I just slam the Nissa and kill the Sterling Grove. I think I'm. No, nah, I definitely want to get rid of nah, them because then I just force them to search and I kind of don't want them to do that. Mm, that's quite, that's a that's a that's a decision. That's a decision point, as we like to call in the showbiz. Harold, it's weak to rough. Nissa minus is not great. 
um, because they just search for something which kind of forces the hand but I don't want to force the hand right now I think I, I think going Nissa plus is not wrong because uh, Mm, not a hundred percent what I'm supposed to do here. I think there's an argument for all three of these. Uh, let's go to combat first. Attack with everyone but the Paradise Druid. Let's see if they do something prior. I will get the the, the Mox Jet from the Jet Collector because I have four cards. It's four cards, right? Four more cards. Anyway. It's more four cards or type? Four more cards, not types. Go perfect. They also down to five. Which is not a lot of life. We'll get the jet here. I think I'll go. I think I'll go Nissa plus. Yeah, I think. No, let's go Nissa minus. Because yeah, he forces the hand. Then they have to do this, but at least that means. Okay, doesn't matter. That means the next turn I could destroy whatever they got as well. But yeah, good win. Good win. We'd missed a land for so long, man. Jeez, Louise. I don't like. I don't know how to do the calculation, but uh, I feel like we should be more likely to draw land than that. Like there were thirty-six lands in our deck, and we drew seven cards. Is there like a uh, proverb MTG draw calculator hyper geometric calculator? Cool. Population size, there were 92 cards in my deck, sample size, there were 36. No, success in population of cards, you want one, and number of sample seven. Chance to draw seven or more, no, this is so wrong. One, because you're drawing, okay, I messed up completely. It's 36. Yeah, we won 97.4% to draw one landing, seven cards, and we whiffed. Chance of drawing, yeah, 2.65. That was a 2.65 percenter. <laughs> That's so gross, man. <laughs> uh, sometimes, sometimes you know, you get the short end of the stick and it sucks, but it is what it is. It's a game. Move it on. Let's go to the next game. Solid hand, by the way. I love having the turn two ramp. Obviously, the Bonnie Paw is a bit scary, but we'll make do. Kill the goose. I will play the Gilda Goose. And I'll attack for two. If they wanna if they have something for my druid, I don't think I care too much. If I need to kill something I can. Otherwise I can just untap and slam this Egra. If they don't leave up mana, if they leave up mana, I'm not gonna slam this Egra ever. Rhystic study. I'll let I'll let them draw a card and I'll destroy that. I think that's fine. I think it's worth my while. Min efficiency in that. So they get to draw one card, but I get rid of that. They can't counter it. I'm not gonna pay one. They do seem to have a counter spell. Oh, is it a May? Is it a May? That's why they were thinking. You may draw a card. No land. Kinda makes me wanna go for Erebos first. And I will play this out as well. I mean, I would have loved to draw land there, but alas, that was not to be. Okay. Shift for boots, that's gross. At least they can't cast spell any power, and yeah, they could have a counter spell up. Cool. Binding of the old gods, I'm obviously getting hit with a counter spell here. Maybe not 100%, maybe they choose to hold it. Again, not hitting lands, man. Just we did keep a three lander again. I don't think I don't think thirty nine lands is a short amount of lands whatsoever with this amount of ramp we have. Cool, I'll target that. And I think as they're holding up something, that's fine. Die, couldn't kill us. They play Bonnie Power. Power would kill it. Obviously, they got to keep the boo around, which is a big, big, big girl. Oh, they chose to leave up the mana. Then that's fair enough. In that case, I will leave up the power would kill as well. Oh, Rex Age, that changes my mind. 
and but we're still not hitting the lands though. Okay, well, let's hope. Hopefully, we find a land with this mire. Why is it mire? Mortuary, underground mortuary. <sighs> just not our day, is it? Just not our day to find lands. Rex Age. I will target your swift boots. Unsurprisingly. Do not care. Is it resolve? Cool. Get rid of it. And I'll pass the turn. I have no creatures in my yard yet for this mass fan though. Let's do it for five. If I draw a land, now nah, it wouldn't matter because I don't have a creature in my graveyard. Sure. Remove the trigger on this deck. I'm gonna try to kill it. Cool. We got to kill it. Just in case they have a land, they chose not to play it before combat. Are they legendary? They are legendary. That's actually not bad for us, huh? Surprisingly, that's a alright draw. I won't say no to that. Do they have a counter spell for this? Likely? No, they do not. Oh, Monsieur, je suis parfait. Oh no. Okay, I'll attack for two. I don't know why I just said that. Okay, I have a lot of issues. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is kind of like no. Uh, about to turn off. Um, four eight mana. Okay, that's fine. Make my dude bigger. Oh, if they attack, I block and I eat the food and I just get to eat the bunny paw. Please attack. Oh yes, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. We get to eat your paw. We get to put a creature in the yard. We get to draw a card. This is amazing for us. And we draw land. This cannot get much better than this. Uh, let's go mass though here. I think we can win this turn. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, that's eight counters. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four. Wait. Let's let's do things correctly. Black, green. One, two, three, four. Pay quantity. Yes. Shablangos. Make my creature huge. Oh, not quite lethal. And my computer is freezing. Hooray! Did that really crush my computer? God damn it. Cool, that I almost crushed my computer. Am I back? Hello, hello, yeah, we're back. Uh, I need to kill one more creature and we win. Well, yeah, they have to discard a card here. So if I sack another creature, that, yeah, I can sack the rotten mouth to itself. No, I can, yeah, I can sack and target itself. Right, I'm pretty sure. Plug a creature, yes. Sack a creature, yes. Cool, good game. 22 damage out of freaking nowhere. Let's go. That was a good, that was a good, that was really cool. That was a really cool turn. I will take that turn. Holy crap, that was a really cool turn. What did we do? Let's go back real Yeah, I had fun. Thank you. That was really cool. Being able to sack it all to Rotten Mouth. I mean, the previous turn as well, just blocking the boo, sacking the. Where's the goose? Oh, I exiled it. Sacking the goose. Uh, to itself and then make my creature bigger and that drawing me a card and that enabling the mouse fan though that was really cool i like these little gimmicky stuff that this deck has i've been really really enjoying it and we'll do one more game it's, it's a bit longer than the 30 minutes i usually aim for but i'm enjoying it like i'm generally enjoying this deck uh it's not gonna get archived it's gonna be together with uh Breyer, with lumra with nashi um as decks that i do play uh, on my free time just for fun oh and i'm gonna do the challenges i mean challenges as in daily quests oh chulane one of the original brawl commanders when they first introduced it that was a, that's a 
used to be my guy long ago oh nice they mowed to six to find a one drop um we'll get a well, let's get an overgrown tomb no reason not to we'll play the lanoa elves next turn we'll say ginger plus uh forest cycle this I'm still, the jury's still out on Eleanor Gardner because I literally have not got him to cast it yet. But I, f I think it can be really powerful, I just have to actually get to have it on play. Do they have another ramp? That'll be kind of gross. That's a really good multi 6, huh? Can I get a removal spell? No? Okay. That's a really gross draws, draws from my opponent there. On the play with a double ramp. We'll do our best, but I don't think we're gonna be quick enough. On a multi six with double ramp, triple land, triple land, double ramp. Okay, cool, and I have no interaction. Fantastic! Let's go. That makes it a bit more bearable. Get out of here. Okay, now we have a game at least. Like with Sir Ginger. Sir Ginger is like an underwhelming card for the most part, but he really plays a good role in the deck. Delighted Halfling, that doesn't matter because I can't counter anything anyway, but that's a lot of freaking ramp. I mean, chances they have a counter spell, a trillion percent. Oh, okay, never mind, I take it back. <laughs> Sijin, I'll pass it in. I would love to draw land and be able to catch a piece of war the Shulane next turn. Please give me a land. That's not good enough. But I can sack the Sajinj. So I can Moss Vando? Yeah, we'll do that. Sack this permanent. Moss Vando. I mean, since I didn't draw the land, we gotta do the ugly way. Oh, I already had one. Oh, I'm such stupid. I didn't see Generous Ant was, uh, was in the graveyard. Anyways, we were able to uh, do what the deck is trying to do. Should I do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more. I'm enjoying this deck. Let's do one more. I already have like 11 wins in the day. I'm only like four away from the 15. Oh, we got a pack. Oh, we got a common card as well. Oh, that's terrible. But yeah, I kind of really enjoying. I mean, really enjoy, like uh, the the bear from history, whatever the hell it's called. It's called, it's called I, that card is just being so amazing with with Igra. God, it's got, like, I'm getting the itch of building this deck on paper, and uh, that's not good. That's how much I've been enjoying it. Fade from history, not death from history. A 6 and a 5 in my opener, no thanks. One more. Better. Garner, I'm so sorry, it's not your day. It's a solid hand. Why do you always want to be in my hand, Silverback? I need you like mid game, not opening. Okay. Uh, is this an Arcane Signet? I might have tracked this for the Arcane Signet. Not 100% though. Because I kind of want to get this fanatical bonus going. It was an Arcane Signet. I'll get an Overgrown Tomb. If you do let me click on it, grazie mille. We'll play this Woodland Cemetery. Do they have a one drop as well? Oh, piss off. That's pretty good, isn't it? You're taking my four, you're taking my Ronis. I don't see you taking anything else. I'm gonna cast one of my twos next turn, so it's up to you which one I cast. There's no way in hell you ever take Silver back out of here. Provisioner could be argued, depending on your hand. It's either my ramp or my removal to your... Yeah. That's okay. I'll go with this guy. Can I dodge a removal here? Just let me a Brea, come on. There we go, that's fine. Not the end of the world. We'll go this. Do I go Jet Collector ever here? Yeah, I think so. Convinced. It's closer than you think to to getting like if they use this to kill like the fanatic of Ronas, it will be on three already, so that's not bad. 
Rivendell is an interesting land. I don't don't like this kind of land, especially in a four-color deck. What the hell is that? Whenever Crypt is going to play a sacrifice, if you do your three cards, okay. Some questionable cards, but okay. I mean, a Silverback Elder, if I cast it, it dies 100%, right? I don't even know what would be my best draw here. I guess with Silverback I also get to have 4 mana with the Fanatic of Ronas, which is not bad. If I get another green card that I kind of want to play. Mm. Like that. Uh, treasure. I dislike this game sometimes, but at least I wasn't punished. I'm gonna destroy your commander here. I lied, we're gonna destroy your mana. I don't care about your commander right now, I'd rather get rid of your mana. I will not attack here. We are empty handed, we are gonna lose to a Wrath if they Wrath here, but I mean, what can I do? I mean, I guess not, I guess I got the Fnatic Ronas back with the Eternalize. Who are you? You can even separate that while I was still with the chair. I did not want to see more lands, it's really not what I was looking for here. Can we tap with this guy, please? And then four from here? Yeah, that's fine, that works. Uh, destroy our artifact or enchantment, we get rid of Brayer. And I think it's worth doing this here. Right now. Because there's a lot of cards that could draw, not that one. That would have been good. Uh, we'll attack for five here, put some damage in. That jumping, I don't like that. I mean, obviously, if I get roughed, we're pretty dead. I think. Not dead, dead, but pretty dead. Are we getting roughed? Yeah, I've seen this card before. They're very deep on the artifact theme, which is good for us. It's a good matchup for us. Am I getting roughed? Like, this is the easiest rough of your life if you have a rough. Like, you could not have an easier rough. So, considering you're taking a while. Mentor of the Meek. Okay, some underwhelming cards. I mean, obviously, yeah, it goes well with the Brea, but even then, I don't think it's super powerful. It's my hand. That's fine. I do have a lot of mana, so that's okay. Uh, let's draw. Play this. Make a treasure. Sack it. I'll get a basic swamp, I don't think we need to be taking... Well, I guess I don't even have an overgrown tomb anymore. Make another treasure. I think I'll go Symbiosis, huh? Let's go Symbiosis. Mm, sure, I'll take a Hell Road. Uh, I'm gonna move to combat, I'm gonna swing with the Egra. Sure. Push a little bit of... Uh, my Egra gets bigger. We get to get a Mox Jet. Do I have any creatures to bring back? I do. But I think even then I'd rather uh, cast... Why using my Treasure and not my Delighted Halfling? Weird. We have a really good board again. We are very susceptible to a Wrath. But not the end of the world though. But very susceptible. Like... Considering the things they're playing, I don't know if they are lining up towards a rough or not. Mm, that one is pretty gross. <laughs> Gets to destroy anything they want. Any of my creatures. Am I? I'm the one supposed to be doing this, but that's okay. I get to bring it back with Jet Collect. This is not the end of the world. Yeah, they're getting rid of my Herald. That's okay. That makes my Egra bigger. Uh, I would love a creature just so we're back to stop pinging things, but I am putting pressure. We have four mana to work with. I don't know, I'm kind of comfortable with this position right now. Again, considering you don't get hit by a wrath. They get to make another one, which is obviously a bit gross, but not the end of the world. Play two, sure. These are some cards I've never seen in my life. 
Okay, you have a lot of power stones, that's a lot of mana. Grave Pact, not a bad draw. Um, five, seven, they could, actually no, they can't because I can sack something in response, so we're gonna attack with both. I assume this is a chump. Double chump, I don't like double chump. Single chump, I do, do, I do like single chump better. Put them to 15. We're gonna jack collect to bring back our guy from the graveyard. Five, seven. It's a lot of mana. Shablangos. That's gonna get rid of one of the final cards in hand. And I can still instant speed uh, sacrifice something as a food to kill one of the creatures. A rough would suck because of all these power um, power stones they have. It's just so much mana they have to work with post rough. I'll go. We do have. I hate that these are still bugged. They've been bugged for so long now, man. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a rough, isn't it? This sucks. It's a good card to find. I don't know how well I can rebuild. Okay, is it a sunfall? Yeah, that's gross. Uh, yeah. And they have the mana to cast the commander, that's so gross. That's, a, that's very gross, that's very gross, but it's not the end of the world. Cost Igra. And I will pass the turn. I don't even have... Damn, I only have creature, sorcery, and land. This is not the end of the world, but it's not an ideal position. I do not like they left a card on top. That's a problem for us. What was it? I will block the Brayer. Will I? Okay, I'll take one damage, I guess. One damage? One damage is an interesting attack. They can block with the Brayer and sack a bunch of stuff. Like sack two and then sack one. This becomes a seven. I think we just want to get rid of the Brayer, huh? Get rid of the Halfling. Cool. We're gonna swing in for six. They chump. Okay, don't want to play the fanatic. I'm gonna hold the fanatic, I think, and I'm gonna draw a card instead of the castle, because obviously they can cost this uh, the commander for quite a while now. So we're gonna have to make do somehow. What are they gonna sack for food and rough the board again? Oh, gross. Mind Slayer. God, man, that's so gross as well. And they have perfect mana to do everything? Yeah, that's gross. So let's see if we draw something meaningful at least. Oh my god, and I drew a removal for my own creature. <laughs> Oh man, this is rough. These have been very rough draws, but what can I do? And a force of it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I don't think I could have drawn any worse. Anyways, I think the final game was just unfortunate. What the hell is that, man? Uh, but alas, if you enjoyed the video, do leave a like, do subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Decklist down below. Adios.